Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Liu Yang campaign. We pick things up for episode 6 from turn 34 in the spring season of 197. So, as we hop back in, in the spring of 197, the Emperor has come of age. So Imperial Intrigue is now a thing. So first things first, we boost ourselves, Because the higher this is, the more satisfaction and diplomatic bonus we get. So we're going to do this every 5 turns if we get a chance to do that. We will also refrain from fighting other Han factions, so Yellow Turbans, Naman factions, they're fair game. We have some new characters that we're not going to be interested in. Yep. And we have a few level up our brother, so more faction-wide bonuses. Do we want another assignment available? Hmm. Maybe. Redeployment costs. Most of our current generals are already deployed, so we're not going to save too much here. How many more turns till we get that instant level up? Eight more turns, so he should probably... Hmm, he's also angry. Oh, because of Simon timed out. Yep. Ooh, that's going to be a lot of problems, isn't it? Well, we'll just let her sit here for a turn. It's fine. I think we will get flexibility for now, and we'll get that next time. There's not really a character I want to assign. Maybe we'll get rid of her. There's going to be, you know, more character that's going to pop up. That's going to be better for us. We're going to capture other generals as well. We get a reform this turn. So we get our 10% replenishment. Finally finish that. And we're gonna gonna remember to put Machal first. We're also going to probably just summon her onto the field. That's probably the best way to keep her happy because that's worth 10 points by itself. So if we just raise the army here, put her out in front, and she should be at uh, 21 points, which is a lot better. And when she comes back online with her assignment, we'll be at 31 points. We will also start boosting this army right away. Ooh, we get an item. Do that every time it comes off cooldown. We are going to boost our main army with more campaign movement range and extra morale for the next 15 turns as they go into the Namman territory. Uh, it's not going to be activated right away, so that's why we do it this turn. So next turn we get kind of the full movement boost to reach uh, Jiangyang perhaps, that's when we're going to start our war. What item do we get? Book of Ceremonies. Okay. So, that's going to be more satisfaction for him. She's going to pick up the dog for some points, just to be happy. He's going to grab this for more authority. And only our brother is sad. Well, I don't know. We can't do much for him. What is our faction council suggestion? Boost his satisfaction. Kind of overkill. Add a new character to our court, add a new item. I'm more in favor of the new item. Garrison increase, satisfaction. I mean, we could. 200 to make our brother happy for the next five turns and to get rid of the debuff on character experience and corruption. Might be worth it. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. See them uh, next turn. I don't know if we get to rank up this year. Maybe not. It might be too ambitious. Alright, so there is a rebel spawn here. No items, so we just simply destroy them. We're going to lower taxes because now we want good public order to help boost our uh, imperial favor. Right now it's minus one. Once everything reverts back, uh, we're going to be fine. If we are exempting anyone, we're going to turn that off. We're going to make sure everyone is paying their taxes. Technically, there's no taxes, but we'll get maximum food this way. Uh, public order will be fine. Yeah, this is not reverting itself right away. We can do this just to let it revert itself quickly. And then we can switch it off again. All right, so they moved. Diplomacy check. Mm, nothing too interesting. 
And we can probably just move on. We did everything. Right, I think we're good. Just buildings, anything to build. We have a little bit of cash. This is kind of max build. Okay, so I guess it would have to be Basi picking up a building here. We don't have enough to build these, so I guess we'll just take that one. Let's continue. Ooh. What a delayed war. And Yuan Shu declares, well, intends to declare himself as the emperor. Ooh, we got ourselves our first gold weapon from the weapon craftsman. So it will still produce weapons for you, even if you turn off the taxes um, for satisfaction. It's not going to interfere with this. Sovereign of the Blade. Great weapon. Also a great horse for administrators. Wow, lucky boy. Mm, I might actually want the population growth. We can maybe give him the horse. Maybe even give him the sword. Because we're building out in Basi quite a bit. Alright, time for war. Alright, we need to get ourselves a port so we can resume our trade. I don't think we can reach them, so we're going to be pretty conservative here with how we move in. They have a small force. Um, his main army might be here, which means he could assault that. So we probably just want to maybe be right here and take the ambush position to see if they can bump into us. That would be great. I gotta remember when's the next one. Okay, two turns. We don't have to check next turn. Put mom back on duty. Very important. And since we're not gonna get any rebels spawning, they could all come back and do some assignments maybe. Or we can have them all individually on the field to boost satisfaction because each leader of our army gets 10 points. And we do have quite a few army slots to let them all sit around like this. We'll figure something out. But right now, let's call them back. Ah, uh, not the greatest trait pickup here. Hmm. Oh well. It's one of those new traits added in in the patch. Alright, we don't have enough money to do anything in terms of building out, so we're just going to wait for the war to continue. Let's go. Alrighty. One turn war and an immediate peace. It just broken all the alliances in the north. And Liu Tong is dead. What did we say? Call Ding. Pass. 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 Unless they have items. Ooh, ooh, I see a silver spear. Okay, you're gonna temporarily come into the faction. Hand over your spear. And immediately get out of the faction. Oh, he's picking up traits left and right. Alright, let's go to war. So we didn't... We're gonna fight this one, obviously, to reduce casualties. Mm, pretty big stack here. Alrighty, this is one of those Naman cities without walls. Uh, not many buildings inside to spread fires, but a lot of towers. Um, they're not gonna come out, so... We have a lot of options here. We could start here and destroy these and then move into these. I don't know where they would deploy. I like that because it's a little bit cleaner over here where we can deploy our units.
I assume they're not going to come out. I could be wrong. Just in case if we're wrong. Alright. I think that's good. I don't think I'm wrong. Okay, given our accuracy, if I just aim in the middle, I'm sure some will miss and hit the tower naturally. And hopefully some will not miss and just hit the unit. I would say 7 out of 8 shots actually hit something of value here, so I'll take that as a win. Obviously none of my units mostly take da uh, double damage from uh, fire, so that's going to help us out here. There we go, that's the miss we're looking for. Now we're going to probably put a shot here. And as both of these burn down, we're going to pull our units up just to crush those as well. How many shots do we have? 12 more, okay. I don't have to aim for that, I think. I think we can just keep hoping for a miss to actually hit that. Like that. Two misses hit that. Perfect. Alright, so those are toast. Uh, that puts us into about... Maybe here. They don't have the range to really deal with us, so we can move it pretty close. We can duel her if she's willing. Oh, oh wow. Who gets the honor of killing her? Yuzin is probably better for the job. We'll challenge her. And we'll make sure she can't use her one ability. You guys can watch your leader die. Make sure you can't use her ability. Lock it down. There we go. I want to stay on this side because the tower can hit us, apparently, from here. Yeah, we're good now. Oh, wait, is the elevation giving them extra range? Because I feel like they're still shooting at me. No, we're fine. Uh, you did, haven't actually used him much. He is a new character, after all, in this patch. Archers? You guys... Oh, I turned them off. Give them a volley. Oh, they're still not in position yet. Too bad we don't have fire arrow. Alright, just hang on. Are you guys done moving yet? Ah, just in time. This guy gotta rotate. Alright, I wanna pound. Let's hope let's hope we get some accuracy here. We're pretty close to it. Ah, that was so close. One more shot. Come on, give us an easy shot here. Uh, 
Uh, that one's good. Alright, both of you hit it. Bring it down. Seriously? Hmm. Try to waste some more ammo, I guess. Oh, is this tree making things extra difficult? I mean, we need it down. It's pretty annoying. Oh my god. Hmm. Definitely a lot more shot than I would want, but what can we do? Ah, there we go. One shot's all we really need. Okay, now that they're burning, rotate. We're gonna have a strategy here where we roar and fire at the same time for morale shock. Stop firing. Start firing. Your. Go back, come back, come back, come back. Alright, wait. Synchronize with his cooldown for when we fire. There's a lot of enemy units to go through. We don't have that much ammo. I don't actually want to go in and fight them. There's some interior towers, so... We'll be patient here. Wutuku's army is still somewhere out there, so gotta be careful. There's only so many times they can route and regroup and route and regroup. Although I should probably give him a range block chance boost before he goes in again. Fire. Come back. Alright, those two are done. The guys are here. Uh, soften up the spear. He's good to go, but definitely soften up the spear. That way we can charge in a little deeper, roar on all of them, come back out. Alright, we got one shot left. Definitely on the spear. Go for it. Ha! DG Shipping, Jung Zai Kui Tao! Not really routing like I suspected. But we got plenty of ammo right now, so let's just maybe kill them a little bit. Eugene can actually come help. These two guys that are really high morale, I think. They're the captains. So if I crack the captains, I think it's over. Yep. There's the route we were looking for. Oh, 
All right, got the job done. Secure the port. Capture the general, who is modest. Um, extra range damage for the army. Not bad. I will employ her. Right, we're gonna just get rid of that. Uh, their building's not bad, to be honest. Too bad it's only level 2. If it was higher level, we might keep it. I mean, we might keep it right now for a couple turns, because it's free building for now. Our version is not better. Same income, without the public water, without the character experience, without the 10k population growth. So I think we hold on to this for now. And uh, we just build out, let's say, a state workshop. Uh, building first before we, you know, mess with this. Xiaoyang needs administrator right away. So we mentioned how Yu Jin might get that job just because his skill tree is ready started down here. And we might stick to that. Oh, fire arrow. So I think what we will do with him is we'll actually move him down here. And put him in Jiangyang. We are not recruiting any armies, so put him as the industry income boost. And that way we stay pretty efficient. Two titles, right. Level up, not bad. Uh, because we have 75% faction-wide character experience boost, and also with the 8% from this building, we should be ranking up pretty quickly. Hmm. I'm gonna get scare on him. Scare plus the roar. Make him our, you know, scare tactic general here. I believe Duo Si is actually in a war with Sha Mo Ke and Zhang Ke. Okay. We could give him a food, but we kind of want to wipe out him as well. He's not currently holding a piece. Oh, he is holding a piece of land that I want. Hmm. We gotta wipe them out first. And then we'll worry about it later. Do we need the replenishment from 2% being inside? Probably not. So I'm gonna just be outside? Oh, you leveled up again. But suddenly you're not so angry. Interesting. Okay. So at this point, brother... I mean, you're competing pretty hard for a faction-wide job, but you're pretty much stuck on assignment duty for, like, the foreseeable future. Hmm, will he be a good administrator? Not really. Alright, we'll do this. Maybe you can replace Mother. He's scared now, but that trade is back on. We're getting paid for that. All right, nothing else interesting. Um, we're going up here. Public order is only giving us one point. Uh, once we get everything nice and green, everything's negative right now, so I, I can understand, but they're gonna all bounce back. And once we do bounce back, we should get a lot of points there. That's a lot of bonus we can use. Next turn, we can do a bunch of aspiration stuff, and uh, let's continue. Oh, support for his legitimacy. So, about this, Dong Zhuo hates it, but he's the only one. We can get paid pretty handsomely, usually for this type of deal. And he usually needs food. Right, so we can probably make a killing here just with some fake support. Yeah, we can make a killing here. Um, maybe he has a bunch saved up. Not too much. Not as much as I would like. Let's see when the jump becomes less apparent. So maybe like 300 here. 
and maybe 2,500 cash. Too much? Yeah, he doesn't have enough cash on hand to make this really worth 1,500? 600 maybe? I doubt this will go that high. Oh! Okay, something like this, perhaps? Alright, Dotron's death just processed, which means his item should be available, actually. A murderer with a nice armor, who is kind, observant, and temperamental. Mm, pass. Right, we're not really getting interesting generals. The Nunman general, actually, the one that we got was pretty interesting. So silver armor, I think it's worth a thousand just to grab the armor from him. It's good trade value down the line. We're not going to keep the murderer in the faction. He hates Liu Bei. Interesting. I mean, Liu Bei used him and then, you know, he left dissatisfied. I don't think I'm going to keep them. Not that attractive. She's the wife of Wutugu. Oh, okay. I mean, we can develop her. I think we can develop a Naman general army. I think their skill tree is pretty fun. Um, has potential. Especially the capture chance ones. I think it's... Down here, yeah. We just got to release captive generals a couple times five times to get the 25 percent extra it's like a patient skill construction cost as administrator and we can build them out whichever way we like her background's pretty good for range compositions which i prefer so i think we have we're gonna have some good use of her in the future hmm you're not prepared for us. They leveled it up back to three. They burned it down to two. Alright, let's beat them up and end their faction. We can't capture him, so we can't get fondness on him. Unless we fight better than Pyrrhic, so we, there might be a small chance. No, capture chance is 19%. Escape chance is 68. Um, even if we switch to Luger, plus 25 isn't going to change anything here. Might change a little bit here. Does he have items? He does. Professional Tamer, so he's the animal type, but they don't, I don't have any animal units on him. Resourceful leader. Okay, we could do a change. We could do, um... Hold on. Let's uh, break siege real quick. We have movement. Oh, I lied. We don't have movement. But I kind of want to get the extra 25% capture chance here. Hmm. He gets one extra turn of replenishing. Not... Great, but not game breaking. 8% replenishment isn't gonna save him. Alright, so over here we probably want the either private workshop, probably state workshop first. We probably want to build this a little taller as well. Hmm, I think we will invest in it. Maybe after we capture it, because it's a discount from the blue building here. All right, I'm going to turn it off. 19 is fine. 72. All right. Let's continue. Maton wants to buy item. No thanks. All right, Wutugu came out to fight us in the open field with the reinforcement army. That's actually pretty good. If I can... Hmm. If I pull back... It might be even better. Because I still like him to be inside. There's advantage of him not coming out when we fight and we can burn the town for extra morale hit. We got another silver armor. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of items this game, which is exciting actually. Salvin Blade already picked up. Um, I would like the income version here, Jiang Yang. But I think I want this to be upgraded first. Uh, I think we might have forgotten a turn. 
Hmm. Interesting question. Definitely Shu. Alright, we get our extra capture chance. Mm, Valen defeat for the 8% that they increase health this turn. Not gonna make a difference. Let's fight. Alrighty, so the snow obviously is not great. But I like this little area here where it forces the enemy to kind of condense up and we can get the most bang out of our buck here from our trebuchet. And I just like the fact that they won't charge at us, so we'll have a lot more say on how this battle will go. And try to get all our advantages. We have the roar. So same idea, we just, you know, they're so condensed we can get really good shots here and the misses might just take out the tower for us. We have fresh 15 ammo here. Like that. Now we can, oh, but it's, uh, cause it's snow, so the percentage is not high. If it's not snowing, that would have done it. We've been over 50% already. That's okay, just means we gotta hit it again. If we can, you know, accidentally hit him, that'd be pretty great too. That missed? I thought that would hit. Well, I guess it hit that. I don't know how well the fire will spread here in the winter. We'll, we'll observe. Maybe it spreads really, really well anyways. And it's kind of hovering between spreading and not spreading. Oh, the wall burned down to a crisp. All right. Ooh, great shot. Shield of the South. Alright, we need to get this down. Five shots, and we still didn't get a second accidental shot on it. Pretty sad about that. <laughs> now we want to hit it. Now it's impossible to hit it. Come on. It was one lucky shit. There we go. 59% exactly what we want to see. Now we need another hit here. Nope. One more. There we go. Alright, we got plenty of shot left. They have a lot of morale. We are not dueling Wutuku, but we can do the other two who have relationship with Wutuku. Hmm. We don't have any melee cab to absorb damage, but we outrange them by so much, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, these shields are pretty wasted. Are they not routing? There we go, they finally realize we have like so few men left. Almost close to 20%. This guy too, 20%. Come on, think about it. They're burning, they're burning, they're burning, come on. Alright, I'm gonna wait a little bit. I think they'll shift some troops up closer to the front door. No? Well, we're gonna move our troops a little bit closer to their front door.
Right, so now we only have one spear unit to deal with, and then our cavalry has absolute free reign over them. Even Wutugo took a couple beatings in the terms of shots. I mean, this would be a likely target if we can get that down. Oh, great hit. Equally great hit. Nice. Okay, so now maybe just this, the captain? Not the greatest shot. Yeah, not the greatest shot. Alright, last one on him. Wow, everything short. Okay. So one can just head back. Three. Moving up. Maybe just here. Don't chase. I'm, I'm very happy they're not running away. I'm just taking it. Until they rout. Beautiful. Alright. They're not facing the right way with their shield. Hmm, but they're pretty tanky. That's a lot of armor. So maybe we will take care of them with our cavalry instead. Oh, they're behind a barricade. Yeah, it's not worth it. They all have shield, right? No, these boys don't. Okay. I'm gonna shoot him to death. Usually crossbows are better at this job. Yeah, probably crossbows are better at this job. Health below... Wow, he actually gets a morale boost when he's below 50% health. I'm gonna kill the shield, and then after that we're gonna dump our cavalry in here. It's gonna waste a lot of ammo on this, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Man, they can take a beating. Now my units have good armor. I mean, it makes sense. You have the Retal armor. They're weak against fire, so basically bring fire arrows. Not these regular ones. We need one more level on Yujin to get those. And two more levels on Luzhu, I think. Alright, getting rid of obstacles that could hurt our cavalry. And then we can just march them in. Yeah, we're going to use up all our ammo. Wait, they have more spearmen? You pull back. Try to kill them. To sneak a roar in there. Alright, I can shut down abilities. Maybe we get a duel started. Now, Ultuwu doesn't want a duel. He will get a heal from Oathworn, close relatives, so I don't really want to kill them either. Somehow he has so much. Oh, he has two ammo left. Okay. Another guy. Pull him back. Two is done. Why did they have so many backup spear units that we didn't know about? 
37, 40. All right, we can just sneak in here. Get through the backside. Charge, loop around. Charge from behind. Need to kill the spear. I think once we kill this one, our cavalry can actually come in. Hmm. I would prefer if they were willing to shoot us and waste their ammo. Right, this is not blocked. I forgot the wall got burned down already, so I can easily loop in. Oh no! Well, oh, the wall. Hmm. Doesn't work like that, I guess. We route these guys. Got the minus debuff on the morale. There we go. Alright, back off a little bit. Get everyone in position. Shoot us. Shoot us. You're under range. Come on. Okay, I think we're good to go. Splash damage, kill that. Kill the general. Kill the other general. Clear path, clear path. Kill the spear, kill the spear. Their towers actually hitting us. Alright, he got dismounted, I think that's fine. I prefer if we don't kill him. We want routing, we don't want killing. Because all the relationships. Right, I think we just charged the units, we should just win this. If they can oh he didn't get dismounted. No, he did, he did. He chased away the enemy infantry though. Perfectly fine. Just give a good roar here. Crack this group. Maybe come in here to shut down their ability usage. We don't need infantry actually. We do need infantry. Pull them back, pull them back. Oh, Chow can stay here and fight. Charge them. Charge back. That's why you need to be on the front. Yeah, absorb the pressure, please. And then you guys reorganize for another charge. Whack him a few more times. He's not gonna roar until all the units are gone, I think. Can we roar? No. Take care of them. There we go. So, cavalry go rush her. Infantry just move up. We'll let Wutubu do his thing. Same idea, we want to injure her and make her rout rather than kill her. Alright, that's exactly what we want to see. Alright, they're all done. Don't kill her, don't kill her. We'll see who we can capture here. Alright, I think that's like our fifth siege of Ba, and this time it worked out. 
So we're going to employ him. He's the heir. He's the professional tamer. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to use this passive very much, but I think we can still use him. And we'll just employ him. He has some items too. We get two items for employing. And Wutubu is destroyed. He will go join some other faction, and we might get to see him on the battlefield. Get another chance to capture him later on. One more level away from fire arrows. Fire, fire arrows online over here. Great. I'm going to actually get rid of this. We don't need that much food. Although, well, this is pretty ideal as a food commander down the line. But first, I think we're going to try to make it income because we don't have a lot of land. So everything's going to be income for us in the beginning. I would really like this to upgrade, but maybe I'll get a nice, you know, potential um, action boost for it next turn. Maybe we build something easy right now. We can finally get some economic reform going. That's still going. We'll build that. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait on that one. Alright, the army looks good. We're going to have him come back in command. So we get more movement and more uh, replenishment. And I think the goal is going to be... Hmm. The goal is going to be coming down south. We want this copper really early. Do we want to fight Shamoko early? We're paying him food, so that's fine. The Wasu we haven't really talked to, so we can just go to war with them. Feels like they don't have a lot of land, but this is not their capital, so they have more. Obviously, we're going to wipe them out, and then Lady Jurong is going to be a very interesting case. I think we stabilize her first. We don't want to take too many because Monghua is also here. And we will basically attack them in the future. And we'll continue to be our food merchant as we target Duosi and Jiangyang next. Is Monghua available to talk to? No. Okay, so we don't need to give him any food yet. Now they're really willing to pay us. Alright, they don't got anything here. Why don't we give you one food as well? You probably give us 1.1, which is still okay. Uh, they're poor, but they're rich, right? They're poor in terms of like how willing they are to give us cash, but they're rich in terms of how much cash they have. Okay, not that ridiculous amount, but a couple thousand. Okay. Thousand and change. We'll take that. We'll wait until that goes higher. Everything looks great. We gotta keep remembering when to use these. Alright, let's continue. Let's get to spring. Okay, they're piecing out. Everyone piecing out. Don't do us gonna stay alive in this campaign. Ah, Wutugu is going to have a son in our faction because we have the wife. Hopefully Wutugu will come join us. He's quite strong. Hmm, useless item. We need to promote someone. Oh, these are lovely. This one's very... I haven't seen this one yet since starting the game. The 200 commerce comes with trade influence. Okay. Um, Promote someone first. Who is unhappy? Uh, see, if we promote our son, the problem is his salary would go from zero to like very high. <laughs> Rather than that not happen. But he's the only one who's angry. Oh, you didn't. But he's administrator. He's fine. She has really no role, but she's going to be administrator. All right. Let's make our son Grand Commandant. We'll pay him 350 just to make him happy. He works well in the court. Okay, we still have these. I think I still prefer this. The 20% construction cost is better than trade influence for me right now, so I'm going to go with that. And yeah, we do have quite a bit of industry. We're going to get more, uh, even though commerce is coming up as well. Basi. That's not where we want it. I do want that one, but I don't want it in Basi. Come on, give me a new place. 
Jiangyang, that's what we're waiting for. So Jiangyang and construction costs synergizes very nicely. So now it's so much cheaper. And we get so many more build slots to use. Um, we could go taller here. Not a bad idea, but population is creeping up, which is causing public water issues. Um, not a lot of good solution here. We just have to overcome it without causing too much issues with Imperial Favor, which should be a five turn cooldown. So let's boost our favor again. 88. All the buildings are cheaper. We need to get building reforms now. We have ports, so let's secure a trade route. Yan Bai Hu, Liu Dai. Um, Liu Dai, it is. Take one food at least. And how much are we talking about here? That's good enough. Okay, nothing else going on. Here in Ba, we're gonna go with. Hmm. Probably not income focus. It's gonna be a food. It's gonna be a city build with like food. State workshop for sure. But food first, I think. Right now, corruption is not an issue. Not that big of an issue yet. Will be an issue. All right, I think if we pop in, we can still heal. We control, we control the land, so we should still be able to heal. And we just want to get to right here. Hmm. Maybe we should. We should oh. Maybe we should let their stack go away first. I can also take it slow and head towards Jiangyang next turn first, which will be... We just don't take the heal. We go here and we take this next. We wipe out the faction in one go, and then we come over here next. Slow down our income, but overall not bad. Right, she's just standing out here to get 10 points of satisfaction. Might as well step into the city to give us... Ah, uh, no, she's not strong enough to give us an extra point of uh, public water. We're going to start putting them to use. Right, I don't want you to hold on to these. Since these are, you know, captured general, they should get quite a bit of satisfaction boost for fondness and spared. Um, I should keep them afloat for a while. And we can also look to build our second army soon. So that's good. Let's continue. Yanba, who wants to join? No. Liu Bao already answered for us. Okay. Choosing relationship. We're going to stick to our brother. Um, although perceptive is actually quite nice. Our brother and us. Yeah, we're already our best bud. So let's switch to her. Academic. Wise. Hmm. Don't see that very often. Not bad. Too bad we don't have melee calves in this army. We'll politely de declare war on you. And we'll wipe them out. I think this one we can just delegate. Ooh, lost quite a bit of men. We caught him. He's another tamer. Another tamer without animals. But we'll recruit. The Jiangyang tribes are no more. Okay. Hmm. 
guess we'll build this just because we still have this active. And then all these will slowly be built up soon. I think after this build, we have one more and then we'll cancel him and I'll put in the Sentinel instead. Alright, we're good to go, I think. Declare war on Dwarfsu next. We get some extra heal this turn. Uh, everyone's fine. Eugene's a little injured. We might wait a turn because of the distance. We might move here next. Let's just continue here. Nice Nobel once jungle. again answers for us. No, no one joins our private party. Coalition to bring balance. Okay. North is still very busy. See? Oh. We're becoming very good friends with the uh, one of the Naman faction characters we got. Bonk. Okay. Yeah, we go here. We can't reach that anyway, so this will be a good place to heal one more turn, especially for the generals, which are a little bit low on health. So reform locked all over the place. We'll build this up. I would like walls. Oh no, we want to use this and then we can cancel him. And I think while we have the 20% we go tall. Mm. We don't have the reform for the building so I'm kind of hesitant. I don't think we can get much for going tall right now. We might as well wait. Alright, Lil Drown ranked up. So he's probably going to get Fire Arrow, that's probably the most helpful thing. He defaults to a Resolve Horse, which is quite interesting. Here, have some more Resolve for population growth. Hmm, don't have much for you. Alright. Maybe we can even hide them. I don't know if that's going to change anything for them, but let's see. Alright, Cao Cao declares war on Zhu Rong. He's expanding south. Sun Tzu is expanding west. Okay, Meng Huo is fighting to the east. Duo Si has peaced out. Well, time for you to get ready for a new war. Yeah, we're gonna take everything in Jiangyang, make it ours. And we'll take the delegate. Should be pretty clean. Low casualties, right? Alright, so with that, we're going to end our episode. Uh, we have started expanding. We have taken all of Jiangyang, which is going to help our economy. And uh, we're now bordering Shamoke, who we are feeding food. So, oh, that has timed out. Perfect timing. So we can fight him. We're feeding Zhu Rong food. We can feed probably Meng Huo some food now that we're bordering him. Or we can go wipe him out. He's so weak. That's his capital. Level zero, deserted. We can weaken the pretty strong faction right away, eliminate the possibility of anyone getting Nanjong elephants. That could be attacked. We could feed them some food for now, because Shamuka is getting attacked by Sun Ce as we speak, so he can keep them busy. Wait, there's Lady Wu. I thought she was not available. She got married? Wait, I thought she was not available in the faction when I checked earlier. Oh, she's just gone from the family tree. But she's here, and she's heir. But she's not single, or else we have so many single brothers that we can offer, then we can probably offer that. Well, anyways, uh, he's in Badal now, so he's close, close more, uh, you know, more than we would like. He's also here. Yuan Shu is here in Shangyong. I mean, but you can see the Han factions usually like us as we fight Nanman factions, so we should be fine. 
Um, our goal is just to take up the valuable piece of land like Jianming. So I guess going here will make a lot of sense for us rather than going for Fulin, which really isn't much. So I think we'll let Sun Ce do the fighting here. We'll feed them one food again. And we'll focus on getting Zhang Ke. We'll focus on getting Jianming. And then we'll focus on ranking up so that we can get a couple more administrators for them. Uh, Yunnan's pretty good too. Uh, she's very strong, so she's going to be our main challenge. We might start looking to get a second army in here. Uh, I think we can get uh, Liu Zhang and Chen Gong maybe out here, even though they might not get along. Uh, get our assassin girl. Maybe use a Nanman general army. We probably won't keep all of them. Some of them are not that useful. Like Tamers really doesn't make a lot of sense for us. So we can probably fire them. This person, novice captain, I feel like has good potential. Also, she has uh, Utugu's kids in our faction. We can get those as well. She's also modest. So we can adjust our strategy as we go on. And we're going to just make the push south. And uh, while maintaining pretty good relationship with the rest of the world as we tear up. So until then, bye.